tell him what to do. Hey! I do! <laughs> Jump, Sven! Hey guys, I'm at the Walt Disney Animation Studio at the Ring Lab with Computer Genius. Greg, who's going to show us how the Frozen team brought the characters to life. But before we start, what does rigging mean? Well, it is a kind of a complicated thing. I think the easiest way to think about it is what it looks like without a rig. It's just a sculpture sliding through space. So what we do in rigging is we actually add bones, then we put the kind of skin on top of it, and then we add controls for our animators to use so they can kind of craft that performance that you see on screen. Like Frankenstein. That's right. <laughs> we are also responsible for setting up the face, kind of what does a smile look like? So Frozen was a particular challenge for us because it was one of our most complicated films ever. We had over 312 wow. characters, which is more than any other movie we've made here. That's history. It is. So one of the other challenges with this show is hairstyles. We end up making a new tool for the show that we call Tonic. And what it allows us to do is to basically model the hair and to approach it in a way where we're actually building up the layers of hair in a very sculptural way. Why is there so many colors? The colors are going to help us discern different chunks of hair. And the clumps just help us see that as we're trying to layer them and figure out kind of what does Anna's hair look like. Mm. As we go forward, we take those clumps and we produce kind of the final hair. So you can see the hair really looks like yeah. what those clumps look like. And some days our characters have bad hair days. <laughs> So when our characters do look their best, like Elsa here, an interesting fact is she has over 400,000 hairs on her head. You or me, we only have about 100,000. So she has four times more hair than we do. Wow. Once we're done getting all of our rigs set up, we go into animation. And animation is going to do something like this, where they're taking Anna and she's doing this nice stroll through the marketplace. But you'll notice the dress that's not moving at all. And animation's adding those drawovers to allow us to see how they expect the dress to move. And it's our job to take this and to run cloth simulation and figure out how to make it work. And you'll notice this isn't really ideal. It's kicking her in the head, the dress is getting caught up around her, and it's not really what we'd want to see in the film. So the next thing we do is get in there and actually blow the dress around and pull it and tweak it. And it's a lot of indirect manipulation. A bit more princess-like and elegant. Yes, make her very graceful. And then at the end, it all comes together with all of our background characters and all of their outfits to produce the final result that you see on screen. My lady. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Huh, this is awkward. Not you're awkward, but just because we're, I'm awkward. You're gorgeous. Wait, what? 